What's up YouTube? Hope everyone's having a blessed day today. So we just got back from Sturgis and I wanted to do a uh, a quick update and uh, a, a long range review. I guess long range being I've, I've got about 3,780 miles or so on this trailer now from our house to Sturgis and back for you know a long trip and uh, I wanted to kind of tell y'all what I thought about it how the trailer done and um, a couple things to kind of watch out for if, if you get one of these trailers so if you look the the bikes are on the trailer they're strapped down and I put a little microfiber towel right there around the both arms uh, just to help with rubbing of the paint um, but as you can tell it made it home fine um, the trailer pulls really well you don't get a lot of fish tailing swaying anything like that it, it does really good um, the one thing I would tell y'all y'all need to watch out for is again these lights they do need to be moved over this way you know an inch or two if you can um, that would definitely help with loading and unloading of the bikes uh, Sorry about the barking as their your highway pegs will want to to hit and as you can tell i've i've chipped this one and uh i've chipped this one loading it up so uh, just the way the way it is i'm, I'm going to figure something out and modify that um you can't really tell right now but after we get the bikes unloaded this little diamond plate right here you can see it's starting to pop up from when you're loading the bikes up if it's not this, this thing just gets dented up really easy um, I think a better alternative to this at least on this part would be just keep it expanded metal um, I think that would would help out a lot um, if you look right here this is your back tire and that is one of your casters so if you go over a speed bump guys when you come down this thing you can see this thing won't even hardly turn anymore um and you can see it's starting to get chewed up some from hitting stuff so if there's a way they could figure that part out um that would definitely help but as you can tell it doesn't want to uh to turn very well anymore um, but that's going to make it a lot harder to, uh, to get in there. And I haven't checked the other side yet. It may be the same way. This one's a little bit better, but you can see it's starting to get chips knocked out of the caster and stuff like that. Um, now I don't know if you can design that out of it or not, or what they could do differently, but, but that would definitely help if they could figure that part out. Um, the other part is it would be nice if they put some type of piece right here to where you could hook a strap to and come up and, and hook this. Um, there's nothing here, so we had to put a strap down here and run it down to there. Now there is an eyelet for tying stuff down on the axles right here uh, both sides but as you can tell you can't get to any of that um, I think this axle is the one they use on their single trailer also so um, or it's got that same design but there's no way I mean there's no way you can get anything in there to latch it down so I had to use this which I don't mind using that but it would make it easier if it would make it easier if that was something else um, back here on this part because I don't think you really need it so much except for being able to make sure your back end don't bounce around and do anything like that if you hit any hard bumps so um, but other than that I think the trailer did really well um, also too if you you look I had to go put longer bolts in right here so these bolts I went back with stainless bolts um, 
they you couldn't even get a full nut up to the nylock now they said that they were going to send the the narrow nylock um nuts and all to me i never received them um but these things are like six dollars a piece so it cost me about 25 dollars plus tax more just to get new nuts or bolts to go on here and i did reuse the nuts um so the reason i reused the nuts was because they never got down to the nylock part to uh be able to to mess that up so hey guys one other thing that i forgot to mention or two if you look at it is you see this area right here so this is where you're supposed to mount the ramp um it slides up in there and it's got two wing bolts that tighten it down well that doesn't work very well when you got bikes on there so another kind of disadvantage to this trailer is you have to put the ramp and this little piece right here you have to carry them in the back of your truck so with saying that um that's another little bit of a disadvantage it's not that it hurts anything i think that if they would have figured out a way to spin this around and make it go long ways to where you could set it right there and put your wing nuts um even if it hung over here on this side right here a little bit it wouldn't be that big of a deal um to have the bracket turn this way i uh, also think it would make it a little bit easier to to load now one disadvantage to that is is they make a center uh, chalk for this where you can actually put one so you can load one in the middle but if you wanted to do that these are welded in so you're going to have to try to maneuver around a chalk and all to be able to do that so if they was to put um, these to where you had a, a piece of pipe or something on the bottom where these could drop down and then you could just pull them back up to hook your your straps to that would be a uh, a lot better also but it's not designed that way it works fine like it is for loading the two bikes up but anyway that's just some of my recommendations guys i hope that helps and uh sorry for leaving that out um so we'll get back into it now one other thing about the the trailer is you see how the fender is now this is no fault of theirs but when you get a lot of a rain and, and wetness and stuff um, there's nothing back here this tire slings stuff up if you can tell in the saddlebag it uh it gets it pretty nasty so i've got to clean all that off but again it's an open trailer um, you expect it to to get dirty so would i would i buy this trailer again yeah i would buy it it stores up really nice um in the garage that's the benefit if i didn't need it to store i would probably just use that trailer back there um i bought this one because it folded up nice um it had the chocks and all which i had to change out if you watch the other video but but overall i think uh i think it's a well-built trailer i think there's a few things they could do to make it better again i'm gonna have to figure out how to modify this one so i don't mess the uh the tail lights up and that's going to cost me more money now these these trailers are um for this particular trailer i don't remember exactly it's 45.99 or 47.99 and if you catch it at the right time you can uh and sign up for a little thing of theirs um they'll give you seven percent off so take that into consideration also you have to pay taxes and all on this truck so this is a five thousand dollar trailer I think it could be designed a little bit better um but overall i do like the trailer uh, i think it, it tracks good it, it's light it doesn't add a lot of weight to your vehicle uh for pulling and stuff but again i think there's a few things that they can do a little bit better um from that aspect of it if you're going to spend this much money on a trailer especially one like this that there's not a lot to it um as far as size and weight uh what you're paying for is the design um but if you don't have to have that trailer and you can run one like this that's the one we have for the side by side 
um, and I didn't have this trailer I wasn't planning on getting this trailer whenever I bought this trailer so um, would I spend the money on that trailer and have that trailer over there probably not um, that's a very expensive trailer that trailer is more than double what that trailer back there costs so um, if you've got to have one that folds up and and you can store it in your garage I think that is that's a great example if you can get by with not having to do that I don't know if I would purchase this trailer again for that price and still have to go spend my time and energy figuring out how to make it work um, if all you have is a little bitty dirt bike or something you're going to put on the trailer um, and you're not worried about having to move the lights and they send you the right bolts and stuff and also I had to do work on it too because the the wheel chalk runners that they sent you um, those were way too wide for my tires you can see now they they fit in there nicely now um, but with saying that they had to send me those replacements and I got them and then I had to, I still don't have plugs for the end of them so um, they can get water and trash and debris up in the end of the pipes and, and sit in there and help rust that out too so um, there's some things that I don't like about the trailer overall it's light you know it tracks really well it's it's easy to load the bikes up on um, but for the money that you're spending on this trailer no bigger than it is you're paying for a design and all and um really i don't know guys i don't know if i would buy this trailer again at that price and still have to do the modifications if i hadn't had to done anything to it and i might even have to replace the casters now to be able to get it to work right but if i didn't have to do all that um i might think a little bit differently Anyway, guys, if you're first time to the channel, please check out the other content. If it's content that you guys like, uh, please consider subscribing. It would help the channel go a long way. And if you're a returning subscriber and viewer, guys, hey, I appreciate y'all so much and have a blessed day.